Meet Laura Guerrero, the leading character in Mexican movie and current Oscar hopeful, Miss Bala. Soy Laura Guerrero, tengo 23 años y mi sueño es representar la belleza de la mujer de mi estado. The film, based on a true story, follows the beauty queen in her violent downward spiral into the hands of organized crime. Laura is forced into taking money over the border for traffickers and becomes a pawn in their operations in Tijuana. The film is set against Mexico's real-life backdrop of a fierce battle against trafficking. And I think that Laura, you know, because she's a woman, a young girl, and she's innocent, and you know, sometimes foolish, and you know, not a fighter and passive, and uh, kind of just accepting what's happening. Also, it's really more. I think that's she's more of a metaphor for for what I think most citizens feel. Laura is more than just a metaphor. She represents a reality in Mexico. More and more women have been drawn into the drugs trade since President Felipe Calderón's clampdown on cartels in 2006. In the violence-wracked northwestern state of Sinaloa, half of the 75 women in this prison have been convicted of drug-related offences, mostly for transporting substances. 21-year-old Lupita Sanchez has been here for three years. She was caught trying to smuggle two kilos of heroin out of Culiacán Airport. The drugs were strapped around her midriff. ¿Cómo decidí hacerlo? Pues porque te digo, o sea, como quería dinero, entonces dije, ah, pues, dinero fácil. The women here are mostly low-level operators, motivated by a chance to make serious money in a society offering them few job prospects. No estamos hablando, al menos no llegan, si las hay, no están en prisión, no en el estado de mujeres involucradas así como eh, jerarcas, podemos decir, o con ese liderazgo en las bandas del crimen organizado. Laura's nightmare only lasts as long as the movie. Lupita has been given a 10-year sentence. The reality for her and her fellow inmates will last a lot longer.